Good morning, grade 5. How are you doing today? Well, today, Monday, June the 8th, we are going to learn a new grammar lesson related to Unit 17, which we started last week. So, I want you to pay attention, please, while I explain the grammar lesson. The title of our grammar lesson is The Past Continuous Tense. We are going to learn about a new tense, the past continuous. Also, it can be called the past progressive. So, if you see the past progressive, it is the same as the past continuous. Now, first, of course, we start with the use. Which means, when do we use the past continuous tense? And why do we use the past continuous tense? To express what? To say what? Well, we use the past continuous tense to say what was happening at a specific time. Of course, in the past. It is called the past continuous. So it talks about the past, something that was happening in the past. And also there is a specific time. It means I know when the action happened. Look at this example to make it clear. Yesterday, mom was making a chocolate cake. What was she doing yesterday? She was making a chocolate cake. This is the action. When did the action happen? Well, it happened yesterday. This is the specific time, yesterday. And when I say yesterday, it means the past. That's why I use the past continuous tense. To talk about past actions, that were happening at a specific time and that's it this is the past continuous tense to talk about an action in the past at a specific time now the most important now is the formation of the past continuous how do i conjugate a verb in the past continuous tense it is composed of two words first verb to be in the past simple tense plus ing when i say plus ing it means you add ing to the verb what is verb to be in the past simple it's was or were when do we use was with I, he, and she, and it. And we use were with we and you and they. When you conjugate verb to be in the past simple tense, you add I and G to the verb. Did you understand, students? So, verb to be in the past was or were plus I and G to the verb. Look at these examples. I work. I was working. So, I was and I add ing, working. You dance. You were dancing. I add ing. Look here, verb to dance ends with E, when you want to add the ING, you already know that, students, that you have to drop the E and put ING. I have already explained that in class, so you know these rules. He shop. He was shopping. Before I add the ING, I doubled the P, because shop is one syllable verb, and the last three Letters are C, V, C, consonant, vowel, consonant. 
Also, you know this rule. I explained this rule in class. When we were at school, I explained these rules. So you know them. You know that when the verb ends with E, you have to drop the E. And when you, you know when the verb is one syllable verb that ends with C, V, C, you have to double the last consonant. So I put double P and then I put I and G. Okay, these are some examples. Also, this is a table that shows you the conjugation of verb to study in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form in the past continuous tense. Affirmative, I was studying, you were studying, he, she, it was studying, we, you, they were studying. Negative, I wasn't studying. All you have to do is to add not, wasn't, short for. You weren't studying. He, she, it wasn't studying. We, you, they weren't studying. Interrogative form. All you have to do is to start your question with was and then you put the subject in the middle. Was I studying? Were you studying? Was he? Was she? Was it studying? Were we? Were you? Or were they studying? And of course, the question mark. So these are the three forms of conjugation. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative form of the past continuous tense. Now, students, what you have to do is to study this lesson very, very well. And when you study by heart all the rules, I want you on your English copybook to do this exercise. On your English copybook, I want you to conjugate using the past continuous tense. Conjugate verb to write in the affirmative, verb to play in the negative, and verb to talk in the interrogative and this is all for today next time i will be giving you more supplementary exercises about the past continuous tense so do this exercise please on your english copybook good work students